John, news of the manager's situation broke yesterday. What's the reaction with the players? Um, the reaction is it's business as normal. Like um, obviously the gaffer's made his decision that he's moving on, and you know we have to respect that. And you know we're all professional enough that we need to, you know, just try and pick up the results on the park and and get the club moving forward again. He's made his decision. Change is going at the end of the season, but there's a there's still a chance for this season to be a memorable one. Of course, yeah, and I'm sure that's that's what he wants to to finish on. He probably want to finish on a high note, and you know the players are the same. The players want to. You know, keep his, his good record intact, and you know I think um, it's possibly a, a chance for us to you know climb the league, and you know, it all starts at, at Kilmarnock tomorrow, and make sure we get three points, and you know obviously there's a, a lot of games coming up over the next few weeks, and obviously then the cup game as well. So there's there's some big games coming up for us that we you know we, we know we need to obviously pick up results and pick up points. Bo, Bix finished. Back to football matters tomorrow at Rugby Park. Yeah, it seems a, a long time since we played our last game, Mark, and uh, we're all delighted to get back into uh, the swing of things. And obviously, uh, a wee game to come on at Rugby Park tomorrow. Uh, the last couple of games we've had against Kilmarnock, we had the, the nine minute period after the, the, the break through there, we conceded three goals, and we also had the three all game here at Tarandix. Yeah, we didn't play well down, down at uh, Rugby Park the last time, and uh, we went down to try and make amends. and. Uh, the good, the good thing from our point of view is come on trying to play, you know, they try and build it up from the back, from the back middle to the front. So that'll suit both sides and I'm sure it'll be an open encounter, but I hope it's not as open as last time because obviously, as you said, that nine minute period uh, just killed us and uh, it's important for us to get back into winning ways and it would be great to uh, to do what we've been doing away from home. Albeit, you know, we, we played come on the last time at Danadice 3 and it was, it was an exciting uh, encounter for everyone concerned. Probably not for the, the managers and coaching staff, Mark, but it was a it was an entertaining game uh, to say the least. It seems to be the story of our season so far. You know, we've we've played some good stuff, and I thought the first half down there we played some good stuff and played played quite well. And, you know, probably without really creating chances, we, we kept the ball really well. And um, then obviously the the first ten minutes of the second half, we've gifted them three goals, which you know you can't do at any sort of level. You know, so um, we seem to have done that quite a bit this year and. Um, I know the managers managers touched on it a few times saying about individual errors, but you know if we can stamp out the individual errors, we know we've got quality in the team that can go and go and win us games.